Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Metagear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Now we're on the load screen. I'm about to load up the chapter. I started this chapter before and I was in a two hour battle trying to figure out the fight because we're trying to take out in this one the skulls. Um, in the previous episode we were, we got the code talk and we were about to go into a ton of clouds, right? And so we did and we crash and you'll, you'll be able to see this but I am Let's let's load this up. Let's load this up. So this is episode 29, Metallic Archaea. And it's a bit crazy. I was recording for two hours, and then I finally figured out how to fight these guys, and we're gonna have to do this non-lethally, right? So let's give this a go. I'll try to explain it as we fight, because it's probably gonna be a really, really long fight. Um, I wanna get you guys the best content possible. I don't wanna show you guys me struggling for the past hour and a half. So we're gonna redo this. I'm gonna try to do this right. So apologies if you wa um, wanted to see me experience it for the first time. I'm sure you guys don't. Uh, I just want to beat this skillfully, you know. I have no idea what's happening with this cloud, but it it rusted up the whole helicopter. Those are stupid skulls. And D Dog and I, <laughs> we crashed. I thought D Dog would be a great idea to bring here because um, last time we fought the skulls, quiet wasn't very helpful. This is like a second helicopter crash. This time, Snake survives. In the previous helicopter crash, he got this big chunk of metal in his brain. He's in a nine year coma. Not this time, huh? I can't believe the old man's still still alive too. This fight is so huge. So we fight four skulls, and they're not vulnerable to the sleep grenade, which is what I used to fight them last time. Hurry! They are coming! This feels like the first legitimate boss fight. Well, not really. I mean, we fought Quiet, but this is another big boss fight for me. Quiet's kind of like the first one. This feels like a second one. Because these guys are ridiculously hard to fight. I wonder what that must feel like, being possessed like that? Now if we look at those skulls as they are right now, it looks like they've been through a crash? I wonder if it's through the crash or if it's through the clouds that rusted up the whole helicopter there. Oh, there's D-Dog. D-Dog is not helpful in this fight. I was wondering what these guys were, but they regenerated back to health and they gave themselves armor, which is really dumb. <laughs> Really, really dumb. Um, so the whole the whole idea here is to uh, take out their armor, and then you can put them to sleep. We are their quarry. All right, D Dog, take care of the sleep talker guy. There's a way to counter these guys without using weapons, and that's what I've been doing for the past two hours. Uh, before they attack, you can counter-strike them. And uh, you'll take their weapon and use it against them, but I'm gonna run- we're at the uh, airport. We've been- we've done a few missions here before. Everybody's next to the crash of the helicopter. 
what I have to do is grab myself a... I haven't looked up how to fight this online. This is kind of what I feel like should happen. So I gotta get my uh, rocket launcher here. Please supplies requested. Um, there are four of them. Uh, right now, it's D Dogs has sniff, sniffed them out as you can see by the dotted air triangles on top of their heads. So only because D Dog is next to them. First, yeah, I have a sniper gun, right? I gotta get rid of this sniper gun. There are four skulls in this battle, and um, they seem to fight you two at a time. Alright, there we go. So we have our stun rifle and our grenade launcher. Let's see if we can do this properly here. Once again, I was running around trying to figure out what to do about them. I didn't want to take them out lethally. I almost gave in. There's one, there's two. I wonder if I can just take him out from here. Yeah, we can't do this without taking hits. This is gonna be a long, 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 long battle. Alright, they've taken out their swords. There's a way to counter it. They have different types of attacks. You have to take out their shield, right? See, their health is still full. And right now, we just have to take it out. It's like easy for my grenades. So I'd rather do that. Looks like they're in a really nice melee pattern. See, that guy's out. We got one more guy up here. We can get this guy in the head now. This guy down? He's down. Pattern, wrong pattern. Um, you you can't spam the mouse button to counterattack them, so you have to like you have a small window in which you can like counter strike them. Oh, thought I had that. Wow, really nice. They're like they're in for the melee fight, which is really sweet. Okay, the other two are coming in. I don't know. Looks like we have to move. See, they summon those big rocks over there. Let's try to identify them. Or not. Hey! Before they like kept shooting me. Now they want to melee me. I'll take it, man. Keep this up. Yeah. He fighting me. I'll take it. This is nice, actually. Alright, they summon these rocks, which explode over time. I think it has the same power as a um, as a grenade. Seems like one shot. One shot almost kills you. Oh. There we go. Here we go. Here we go.
I'll take you guys out. This guy has no armor. You can see. Uh, double teaming. That's fine as long as they melee me. When they go back and they like start uh, shooting, it takes forever for them to stop by. So this is really good news. I can land two clips in them. This is nice. Wow, this is nice. This is really nice. Wow, this is really nice. This guy won't uh, scoot back and start shooting me from a distance, so... I'll, I'll take it. Oh, I missed it. Missed it. See that small window? I may have messed it up. But it's a good chance for me to ask for a Fulton drop. Please supplies requested. This guy wants to melee me? Okay, come melee me. Yeah! And his friend is gone. So we're in a really good loop here. I don't think so. I had to uh, put away my weapon and then fight this guy. Here. Like that. Oh, you can't fight the snake. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Okay, you got me there. Okay, so this is the first time where this this stun grenade or this stun rifle is is actually really useful. Oh, we might have our first skull here. Got one. Oh, this is so good. Alright, come melee me. I'll take you guys on. This is awesome. Last time it took me like two hours to do this. Alright, there's another guy who's armored, so we have to watch out for him. See, I'm trying to get out of line of sight of the other guy. Really good shape right now. Seventeen here. Bullets. Oh, where'd this guy come from? I wonder if this works. Oh! Wait, stay there! Stay there! Stay there! Stay there! Stay there! Oh, he brought his armor back. That's why. That guy can't be... Yeah, this guy's armor is back. Oh, thought I had it. All right, this guy we can take care of though for the moment. Ooh, ooh, too close to that rock. All right, I'm gonna uh, move real quick. Maybe we can call for more supply. I really need the uh, ammo from our... This is going to cost a lot of money, but I don't care. I'm going to do this non-lethally here. Alright. I still have two, um, two sleep grenades, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. When you're close to them... Yeah, they'll take out their swords, hopefully. I almost got two of them down. I'll take it. Oh, 
wait, this guy's got a sword. So we will take out his armor. Whoa, 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 I don't want to die. Okay, back to normal, hopefully. And grenade on this, this guy. There we go. Yes, and we'll get the second guy. Oh, I've been doing this fight for like four hours, and I finally figured out how to kill him. Gotcha, sucker. All right, now the second guy, or the the fourth guy has come in. These guys don't fight uh, alone, apparently. Wrong pattern. They have different timings on their attacks. Gotta get out of here. The other guy has full armor, so we have to watch out for that. Yeah, they're both bringing out their guns. I don't know why they're starting to melee me a lot more. But, man, I'll take it. This guy with the armor, he looks like he's got a sword out. Oh man, snake's all bloodied up. A lot of sword, please. When you get close to them, they they bring out their guns, and it they get into this weird loop, right? Does he have a sword finally? Oh, come, come, come! Fight me! Do it again! Do it again! Okay, this guy has no armor. Now he has armor. So maybe the melee, the melee fest before <laughs> they're starting to pull out their guns. This is what it was like before. There you go. Oh, it's a gun. Oh, come on. Hey, this works. This is a good pattern. A lot of bullets. Too close. Are they inside? Must be inside. Hmm. Just give me time to fold some stuff. What's up? What's up? Oh man! Oh, I know how to use the sleep grenades now! Oh. Come here. I'll take you on. Why 
is your head armored? You can't handle the big boss. I'm too good. CQC overpowering. There we go LLG mine. This is the last guy. I can't wait. Oh, I'm asleep. Sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ah, I feel so good. Oh, you have no idea how long that fight took. It took me four hours to figure out what the heck was going on. So they cannot be put to sleep with, um, they cannot be put to sleep until you take out their shield, which was not the case, uh, when we fought them in front of the tank. But I don't think they had any armor on. I, I, I'm not quite sure of that. But because we have everybody, everybody who was uh, a zombie are stunned, so I'm just going to take everybody out. And I'm glad that I have D-Dog with me, because D-Dog will sniff out all the other soldiers. This is amazing. I'm just going to take them all back to Mother Base, because everybody's dead. And this is going to be great. He's coming too. Roger that. Oh, you guys have no idea how hard this fight was. Look, look at Snake. Look how bloody he is. That's how many hits I've been taking. I've been running around that building. I figured out that building was pretty useful. Analysis complete. And um, I guess D Dog was better than than uh, Quiet for this mission because D Dog can help me sniff out all these guys at the end, which is really nice. I don't have to go out and like pound the ground and look for them through sonar. Oh, this feels so good. Everything's rusted up. I don't know what that cloud is for, but it looks like the skulls travel with the with the clouds. And there's only a few more guys here, and then we'll we'll get this we'll get this finished. Where did he come from? Oh, he came on helicopter. Is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. Flashback. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection by exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium and weaponize it. Loaded onto Whoa, all terrain that's bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The wow. very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere. Deterrence on all sides. Now that's really that's scary. You ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. It fails safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Snooks. Controlled by a man. Not a country. They proliferate. Conventional nukes lose all value. 
Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. We need to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. I want this guy to meet quiet. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. Oh, okay. Man, that is so sad. We keep yeah, everybody's been dying. Symptomatic. Use this. A type of Wolbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. The parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. You must cultivate more. What a nice guy helping the boss out. <laughs> like I was so happy. Yes! No more sick people! What, what, I wonder what Quiet has. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. Yes! Now I can we rebuild my base. already symptomatic. But everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Well, who am I? Oh, Cuz. Skullface will pay for this. This guy is ultimate vengeance. The ultimate vengeance character. He's like Sasuke from Naruto. Wants to get revenge for everything, you know? Again with the truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> oh my god, what are we doing now? Oh. Where do you get that? Metallic Archaea. Oh. So where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sir Helanthropus is the final piece. W w what are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life. As countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what Skullface is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight. And on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and Zeros. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sahelanthropus in Afghanistan. 
They can't activate it without me. Uh, are they gonna check in the neck? Oh, it's gonna go to his femur. Oh, okay. Good. No, 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 no. Okay, B Zero. This philanthropist is beyond the Soviet base camp in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. Why was he hiding it? I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Is it going to kill Emmerich? We got word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB-0. That's where he'll activate Sahelanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. To be continued. That's all the time we have for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around, Mission playing some Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain with me. I spent four hours trying to beat that last mission, and I finally figured out how to do it, and it had to require a lot of supply drops. There must be an easier way to handle those skulls, but um, I don't know how to do it. Maybe I'll have to go back and look up how to beat it, because I got a B rank on that one, and I feel like I did everything as efficiently as I could so I don't know we'll have to go back and see how we can uh, clear that with an S rank mission but once again thank you guys so much for hanging around with me playing some Middle Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and it looks like man it looks like there's only like one more maybe the last Please mission you know mission. skull face that has like last mission written all over it so We'll see what happens from here, okay guys? So, tune in to the next episode, and until next time guys, have fun. Thank you so much. I'll see you later.